Do you know what this video, this video, and this video all have in common? They all use the right types of hashtags, avoided using the wrong hashtags, and use the right tags in their content to ensure that they went viral. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how you can do the same exact thing because I'm gonna be sharing with you the three best hashtag strategies you need to be using right now, mistakes you need to be avoiding when it comes to hashtags, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get the best tags, titles, and description for your content to guarantee that you go viral by the end of this video. In fact, this creator just implemented these tips, gain over 100,000 subscribers in just 30 days, and I think you could do the same exact thing if you simply don't skip any part of this video. Hashtag strategy number one is you need to make sure that you're using two niche specific hashtags. Now, when it comes to where you should be putting these hashtags, you should be putting them in your title after your title. And remember, you want to make sure that your hashtags aren't longer than the actual title itself. If you're making mistakes like this, it's one of the reasons that YouTube isn't pushing out your content. Now, when it comes to those niche specific hashtags, essentially what you want them to be is something that's related to the actual video that you're putting out. And it needs to be the two largest hashtags that are related to that. Because if you don't understand how YouTube actually uses hashtags, they simply use them to try to determine which audience they should be pushing your content out to. So if you don't have a lot of subscribers right now, or you don't have a lot of videos that you've put out that have gotten a lot of views, YouTube doesn't have a history of pushing out your content. So instead, what they're aiming to do is seed your content with an audience, and depending on whether or not they like it, it's going to determine whether or not they push out the rest of your content. But this is where a lot of small channels make a fatal mistake. Your content gets seeded to the wrong types of people. They're not going to be interested in the content, which is exactly why you need to make sure that you're using the two other hashtag strategies I'm going to share with you later on in this video. And you need to make sure that you're using the right titles, tags, and description because if you mess those things up also, it's going to prevent you from getting your content seeded to the right audience. And as a result of that, it's going to destroy your views. So when it comes to actually finding those two niche specific hashtags, all you have to do is type in hashtag and then start to type in a word that's related to the title or topic that you chose, and boom, you're gonna see all those hashtags show up, and it's gonna make it incredibly easy for you to be able to determine which hashtags you should be using. And remember, you wanna make sure that they aren't larger than the title that you chose, because if they are larger, it's going to decrease the amount of reach that you get. You also wanna make sure you're not using more than three hashtags ever. All the hashtag strategies I'm gonna share with you, and there are two left, and by the way, the last one makes the most posts go viral, but essentially you want to make sure that you're never using more than three hashtags. And there's a very strong reason for that, because if you literally look at YouTube's terms of service, they tell you not to use more than three hashtags because it ruins their ability to actually get your content pushed out. In addition to that, I wouldn't load up your description with hashtags. The only thing you should have in your description is a one to three sentence description of the video. It should include the keywords that are in your tags, in your hashtags, and within your title. Now, before I can share with you the second most important hashtag strategy, I need to make sure that you're choosing the right title, description, and tags for your content. And essentially, these three things are going to help you find a better seed audience for your content so that your content actually gets pushed out more. And when it comes to choosing these three things, you can try to do it manually, or you could do what I use and use vidIQ. In fact, if you go to vidIQ, they will literally use AI to tell you the perfect title, perfect description, and perfect tags to use for your content. And if you want to get signed up today, go to the pin comment below and get started today for just $1 for the next 30 days. I would have never gained over 600,000 subscribers if it wasn't for vidIQ giving me title ideas, choosing my description, and choosing my tags because they make it way easier for me to get views and to make sure that my content's getting pushed out to the right audience. And without them, I probably would have kept messing this up and you're probably making the same mistake. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and sign up right now. This could be the thing that literally makes your account go viral and you'd feel like an idiot if you kept posting for weeks or for months and not just signing up for $1 for the next 30 days and actually getting the information that you need. On top of that though, you wanna make sure that you're not making these three mistakes when it comes to your tags. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're filling out 450 of the 500 characters. Now, of course, it could be 453, it could be 457, it could be 475. You just wanna make sure that you don't go all the way up to 500 and you don't wanna use less than 450 because if you do, you're kind of leaving tags on the table. Secondly, you wanna make sure that you do not have hashtags within your tags. It should simply be one to four word phrases that are going to be related to the video. For example, here are the tags that I chose for this video. Now, the second hashtag strategy you should be using is actually going to help your content get pushed out to a bigger audience. Let's say you're in a niche where you don't have that large of an audience, or maybe you chose a topic for your content that doesn't get that much reach. If you use something like hashtag short or hashtag shorts in your content, guess what's going to happen? It's going to increase the reach because those are more broad hashtags, and I wouldn't use hashtags that are more broad than those. I see a lot of people use things like hashtag viral or hashtag shorts feed. Don't do stuff like that. Just use hashtag short or hashtag shorts, and it's going to 
expand the reach because essentially YouTube is going to look at people that have interacted with that hashtag before and then classify them as people that interact with content that uses that hashtag. So this can increase the amount of reach that you're getting. But I will warn you, there is one other hashtag strategy I need to make sure that you're using. And this one is responsible for the most posts on YouTube going viral. So you're going to want to make sure that you don't miss it. But before we dive into that, I need to make sure that you understand something. Using the right hashtags is not the only thing that you need to be doing on YouTube. You also need to make sure YouTube actually has an audience for the piece of content you're creating. I've been talking to so many small YouTubers lately, and I always ask them, how do you actually go through finding content ideas? And they tell me that they just have ideas throughout the day, and then on a certain day, they end up filming content for that. And if this sounds like you, you're making a massive mistake, because instead what you should be doing is putting research into your process. So if you have ideas, from there, I want you to then go search for those ideas, because you need to understand something. YouTube is a massive competition. I mean, think about it. People that succeed on YouTube literally get paid more money than professional athletes. So it's a huge competition. And that's not to scare you away and say that you can't succeed on YouTube. I actually think it's easier to grow on YouTube than it ever has been before if you change your strategy to be like this. So when you have an idea, the second thing you need to do is actually go onto YouTube and do some research behind that idea. If other people haven't created content on that topic, I would recommend avoiding it. The reason for that is because YouTube doesn't have an audience that's actually interested in that content. If you have over 100,000 subscribers, this can change because at that point, you have an audience. So then you can go out on a limb and create content that's a little more broad and maybe YouTube will be able to discover that they have an audience for that. But if you're a small account, you basically just want to go after things that are already proven out. I mean, think about it. If you were to start a restaurant, you wouldn't try to come up with some brand new concept that you were going to mix Italian and Mexican food. Instead, you would just make the best Italian restaurant or you would make the best Mexican restaurant because you know people are already interested in that. You need to think of content in the same exact lens. You need to ensure that people are already interested in the topic that you're creating content on. And then guess what? You need to make sure that you're actually looking at your competitors' videos, looking at the hook that they're using. What things are they saying? What things are they visually showing? What does their title look like? What does their thumbnail look like? And even what does the format of the content look like? And then from there, you need to build on top of their ideas. Instead of starting from scratch, starting with a blank page, simply make their ideas better execute on them, and boom, you're gonna get more views, especially if you implement this last hashtag strategy. And that last hashtag strategy is going to be using hashtag shorts or hashtag short. Remember, you can do everything right that I just shared with you in this video, but the YouTube shorts algorithm has recently changed. So the best length to be using has recently changed. And if you watch this video right here, it'll share with you the best length to be creating your content right now. Because if you're not creating your content in the right length, it could be the thing that's destroying your views, even if you're using the right hashtags, titles, tags, and topics. So what are you waiting for? Watch this video right here.